best laptops for engineers. Not just any powerful laptop can be the best laptop for engineering students. As surprising as that sounds, that's because it's not just power you want. For engineering students, you want an excellent combination of processing power, graphics prowess, and affordable price. In this video, we're going to be checking out the top 5 best laptops for engineers in the market today. You can find links to the products in the description. If you've got another product in mind that you'd like us to review, please comment down below. We'll look into it as soon as possible and we'll let you know how it compares to the items listed in this roundup. So without further ado, let's get started with the list. Number 5. Dell G315 If you want a cheap and more travel-friendly gaming laptop, the G315 is worth a look. Entry-level gaming laptops tend to be mostly plastic with rounder edges and corners than their sleeker and costlier alternatives. The latest G3 laptop is no different, with its smooth plastic palm rests, roughened matte plastic outer lid, and light blue accent marks all around to distinguish itself from the competition. The redesign is more gamer-like, whereas the older G3 3579 looked too much like an HP Pavilion 15. On the other hand, characteristics like rigidity and build quality haven't changed much gen to gen for similar first impressions gen to gen. Just because you can't afford the most expensive gaming laptop doesn't mean yours should feel any lesser. That's what impressed me most about the Dell G3 15. Sure, our review unit has specs to match the price, like an Intel Core i5-9300H and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, but the build quality is solid. It's upgradable with the removal of a few screws, and the gaming performance will let you play most current titles, albeit not on the highest settings. All in all, the Dell G315 is a great revamp of a cheap gaming laptop. Now, with excellent performance and good gaming utilities, but it still has a dull display. Number 4. Samsung Notebook 9 Pro Samsung's Notebook 9 Pro presents you with a study in contrasts. This 13.3-inch stylish convertible offers the latest Intel Whiskey Lake chip, a generous number of ports, and strong performance in traditional office applications, all for an attractive price. The Samsung Notebook 9 Pro has a silver aluminum chassis with a Samsung logo stamped on it. Its design is simple, but it looks premium. And while the chassis has diamond cut edges, they don't look as good as they sound, mostly because they're reminiscent of a tin can. Samsung does other things right as well. The 13.3 inch touchscreen has only a 1080p resolution, but at this size, it's plenty sharp enough. It also has a respectable 350 nits brightness and narrow bezels on the top and sides. My main frustrations with it are common to many. Windows laptops. It has a giant chin bezel at the bottom and a cramped 16-9 aspect ratio. A 3-2 aspect, like that found on Surface computers or Huawei's line of Mate books, would provide more vertical space while also getting rid of the unsightly bottom bezel. All in all, the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro offers good performance and solid battery life in an aluminum design for a good price. Number 3. Razer Blade Pro The 2019 Blade Pro 17 is the third generation model in Razer's lineup of 17.3 inch gaming laptops. It's a complete redesign of the Blade Pro 2016 and 2017 with many of the novelty features dropped in favor of a more streamlined experience. It also introduces narrow bezels to the Blade Pro series for the first time with many design elements lifted from the 15.6 inch Blade 15 series. Typing on the Blade Pro 17 is the kind of experience that spoils you. The keyboard feels springy and responsive, tactile and quick. Even the keycaps feel good under your fingertips. They have a matte texture that doesn't attract oils or dirt the way other keyboards might. The laptop comes equipped with a 2.6 GHz Intel Core i7-9750H processor and 16 GB of RAM, a pair of 512 GB PCLe NVMe SSDs, an Intel UHD 630 graphics GPU, 
and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Max-Q GPU with 8GB of VRAM. Each variation of the Blade Pro has additional space for up to 2TB of M.2 storage. All in all, the Blade Pro is designed to provide a near desktop quality gaming experience, and it absolutely achieves that goal. As a 17-inch laptop, its biggest drawbacks may be its size and weight. It's heftier than a normal laptop, though less than you'd think, given its power. The positioning of its touchpad is the only small but noticeable issue I had. My thumb wouldn't stop tapping it while I typed. Number 2. ThinkPad X1 Extreme Mobile Workstation The ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 2 is Lenovo's iteration of how a thin and light workstation should look like. In terms of specifications, it battles directly with Apple's MacBook Pro 15s, Asus ZenBooks, as well as the Dell XPS 15. Of course, to battle the well-established laptops, you need powerful hardware. This device can be specced out with a Core i9 processor, a 4K UHD HDR panel with a set maximum brightness of 500 nits and a GTX 1650 Max-Q. However, as many of you asked for a down-to-earth specification of a workstation, we got the Core i5 version of this machine. It will be essential to see how the cooling performs in this chassis and whether there is going to be enough headroom for the GPU and the more powerful processors out there. All in all, Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 2 is an excellent MacBook Pro alternative. The ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 2 is one misstep away from being the best 15-inch laptop on the market. That fault, once again, lies with poor battery life as compared to other 4K rivals. If a long runtime is important to you, then you can opt for a 1080p panel, but you'll miss out on the gorgeous 4K HDR display option. Apart from disappointing battery life, the ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen is almost a perfect laptop for content creators and business users. Its sleek design looks great, and it's surprisingly durable yet portable. Performance is also impressive thanks to a Core i7 CPU and GTX 1650 Max-Q graphics. You can even equip the X1 Extreme with 64GB of RAM, although storage maxes out at only 1TB. Number 1. HP Spectre X360 15T The HP Spectre X360 15-inch laptop is a lovely machine. It's attractively designed, powerful enough for most big tasks, and features a new 15.6-inch OLED display that will make your eyes weep with joy. Too bad HP put a terrible trackpad on the thing. The combination of the i7 8th gen processor and NVIDIA MX150 discrete GPU is curious. This won't win any speed competitions. It's faster than similarly configured 13-inch devices because it can sustain faster speeds longer thanks to being larger and better at cooling the CPU and GPU. But it is not the fastest 15-inch laptop available. That would be a gaming or workstation laptop. It's perfectly average to slightly above average in the performance department. Need to edit a few videos or play a game on medium to lower settings? The Spectre X360 15 will be there for you. Need to edit a batch of 4K video files in real time or render a huge 3D project in Blender? This might not be the right tool for the job. As for the battery, with the brightness of the display set to 200 nits, the Spectre X360 15 lasted 8 hours and 26 minutes playing back YouTube content. That's about 45 minutes less than last year's Spectre X360 15 2-in-1, and on par with last year's Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. All in all, the HP Spectre X360 15T is undoubtedly one of the best laptops we've ever reviewed. A powerhouse machine with an appealing aesthetic, a sleek yet sturdy design, and a price tag that's reasonable. From the moment you lay your hands on this stunning laptop, you'll never want to use anything else.